Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about winter coats. Here in Boston, I begin to wear winter coats from October to April the next year. So I have a good collection of winter coats for different weather, temperature, and the price range. And today I'm going to show you my favorite winter coat throughout the year. I have three wool coats and two dog puffer and one shelling coat. So let's get into it. The first coat I want to talk about today is my beloved wool coat from Club Monaco. I want to talk about this one first because it is a super good coat that balances a good design, good materials, and a reasonable price. I have owned this coat for about three years and I got tons of compliments on this coat. It is made of 80% wool, so it is super super warm for the cold days. It is a tailored wool coat and it reached my middle calf area. I think it will fit most of the body type. It is a double breasted coat. I think it looks super good when you just wear it open like this. And when it comes to super cold days, I like to button it up. There's another two pair of button hidden here. So actually you can just close the coat like this. So in this way, you know there won't be any wind comes through you from the upper body. And for the color, it comes with black, gray, camo and oatmeal color this season and the gray color is definitely my favorite color for this style and the price of this coat is another thing that i really like it was originally retail for about almost 500 bucks but the good thing is that this style is always on sale for the holiday season so you can almost guarantee to get this coat for 50% off. I got my coat for about 200 bucks and I think it definitely worth it. So the second coat I'm going to talk about today is also from Club Monaco. It's this one. I got this coat last season but Club Monaco bring this style back year after year. For me this coat is so much look like the British army style. So I pick up the black color one because I think the color is so chic and so classic. And I really like the golden color button details here. Because a black color coat can be a little bit boring in the winter and I feel the gold color detail just give the coat a pop of color. Another thing that I really like those buttons is that they are placed really high up so it helps to change the proportion of the body and give you the illusion that you have longer legs which I definitely need a little bit help. And for the material, it is made of 50% wool and it is fully lined throughout the full body and the material is just so soft to touch. And this cone is also on sale for 30% off right now. I think this one will be a perfect coat if you live somewhere where you have a mild winter season and I think this style will look super good on every body type. So go check it out. The third coat for today's video is this wool coat from Arisia. I love a good camo coat and this coat will be my number one recommendation for you for early winter days. It is made of 100% or 96% of Italian wool. The concentration of the wool is actually the highest among all the wool coats today. Because the body part of the coat is not fully lined, so it actually is a quite lightweight coat. The reason that I like this coat is it is a perfect balance between chic and a relaxed feeling. It is tailored and it has a defined shoulder but at the same time it is so relaxed and has a lot of room for you to feel comfortable wearing it. I love this camo color so so much. I would say only downside is that Arisa is a brand that is classic design like this doesn't really go on sale so last year I remember the Black Friday they offered 10% off uh, everything and I said this is because I am so spoiled by the US retailer but just so you know it's kind of normal for Arisia that you have to pay full price for a coat okay the next category will be down jacket the first down jacket I want to show you is this one from Uniqlo I picked this one to show you because I think it is a good combination between the 
availability and the price. Uniqlo is a brand that is very available throughout the US and many other countries. And for this jacket particularly, I got it on sale for 50% off, so I only paid 40 bucks for this jacket. I think it's such a good price. I love it because it is super good, it is very very lightweight and it's good for the early winter days and it's super super casual and very comfortable to wear. It is also a very very good layer piece. I like to wear it together with my club Monaco wool coat. When wearing this one and the wool coat together, it will make the outfit is very very warm and windproof. It just brings a more interesting element and more warmth to the outfit. The next puffer jacket is this amazing, huge, and bit of warmth coat from Taobao. It is so amazing, so warm, and the secondary cheapest coat from this video. I think I only spent 60 bucks for this coat about three years ago. And amazing thing is, 60 bucks is not its on sale price. It's just its regular price. And I have been really enjoying it for the past three years. It has a huge hood and it covers all of your face. And down below, it reaches my ankle area. So basically, it's like I'm living in a huge blanket. And for 60 bucks for a huge jacket like this, it's really the price is unbeatable. I will definitely leave a link for this jacket in the description below and I will also leave some alternatives if you find it hard to purchase stuff from Taobao. The last but not least coat of today is this shirling coat. As the name says, it is a shirling coat, it is made of leather and wool. This coat really stands out among all of my winter coats. The upside of this coat is that first it is super super warm, it is 100% windproof and winter proof. And for the warmth, I would say this coat is warmer than any winter coat I ever wear. The second, it looks so expensive and luxurious. But this coat also have its downside. The first one will be shirling coat is really really heavy, like it's a huge and heavy coat. And you don't feel like you're as free and as comfy when you're wearing this one. Second downside is that it is obviously made of sheep and lamb and a lot of people are not okay that using animal products. So at the end of the day, it really depends on you. You will decide whether this coat or any other coat can fit to your budget, your lifestyle, and your needs. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will leave a link to all the codes that I mentioned in this video along with their discount information. I really hope you enjoy watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!